I'm so delighted to have you with us on another episode of Art House. I'm Melinda Kinlami, coming up on the program. We enjoy an exhibition of sculptural pieces by this artist in Lagos, which shows us a lot of movement. Then in another part of the commercial capital, we bask in the beauty of this artist who uses screws to create these images. Hard work sure pays off as life is not a competition and that's how our wordsmith captures it. He also created the painting which accompanies his words. Our wordsmith for this week is titled Life and Its Race by Nifemi William. Who thought life is competition, lost in another man's game? The journey of life is merely for a soul. There is room for motivation, not for competition, to score that goal. Just like a stone in the belly, my belief is that hard work never gets old. I put my best in not because I'm the best, when tomorrow comes. I don't want to regret what I should have done to rest. A cut above the average chest is what you are aiming to get. No result without a test. Hard work takes off pain. The result is your gain. There is no architecture without art, and that's what this multi-talented artist believes. He reveals it in his latest solo exhibition of bronze sculptures at the Art Pantheon Gallery in Lagos. It's Olayemi Fagungwe's solo show at the Art Pantheon Gallery in Lagos. A look at this statement gives a comprehensive guide to the artist's ideals and views about life, which inspired these bronze creations displayed to the audience. The title of this exhibition is Black. And why was Black chosen? It was, I mean, I was just trying to portray our blackness in a kind of positive light because so many, so, so, so most of the times I just realize that we, we don't really take that as a thing of pride because most of the times we prefer foreign things over our locally produced things. We prefer foreign hospitals than our own local hospitals. We prefer foreign education over our own local education. And even in the arts, we tend to value the foreign artworks in regardless to our own artwork. So how best could we tell our story? How best could we look at this blackness as a thing that is a blessing rather than a cost? How would we look at this that every other person we, en we envy us? These of us trying to always want to go to the white man's world, why won't they also want to also come here? Because we have a lot to offer. And then looking at Nigeria as it is like this, a country that is so blessed with everything, but this on one thing or the other that I, I really want to start making mention of, I mean, we have not really harnessed these potentials. <laughs> Those who have encouraged this artist's growth notice his influences from growing up in the north to his architectural exposure, which plays a huge role in his art. Fabo Mbe is an amazing artist. He's an architect and he chose to go into sculpting after he got his master's in architecture from the University of Lagos. I decided to go with this show because I saw a lot of tenacity as of strength. I saw a great movement in Yemi's works. His, his sculptures are just not ordinary. There's so much movement that you can see in each of the works that you just can't take your eyes off them. Every time I look at each piece, I just imagine there was a particular work I love so much called Barali Loyal. And I looked at the way the work bent over and I just imagined myself bending over my, my goals, my limitations, and being able to achieve so much. So I see a lot of strength. The 
Vietnamese uh, work exudes some uh, uniqueness, some peculiarity, probably because of his background as an architect. You know, I know that uh, he trained as an architect before coming over to the Universal Studios for uh, an internship program uh, where his uh, talent uh, in visual art was uh, identified. In relating with him uh, before now, I had known that uh, his interest got honed in uh, his alma mater where he was studying architecture originally, uh, that's Amadou Bello University, because uh, I think there's a kind of uh, connection between the archi uh, archi uh, architecture department and the finance department. So he had been influenced uh, uh, through his visits to his friends in the art department and uh, he always had it, had it at the back of his mind to practice a bit of art after leaving school. For the Art Pantheon Gallery, the reason for making him the choice artist to be celebrated is the movement in most of his pieces, which makes his bronze sculptures unique with attention to details. We so underestimate ourselves we underrate ourselves. We don't even believe in ourselves anymore. Anything it's believed, anything that is from the black nation is inferior. And on the contrary, it is not. Someone came in and asked me, where did you cast those bronzes? And I said, right here in Nigeria, in Benin. And I was like, oh no, I can't believe these were casted in Nigeria. And that's, that says to us that we need to start looking in words and that's why I would look, I will keep looking for artists like Yemi who believes so much in the African race and sees so much about us as a people. When you look at his work, you could say what the artist is made up of. He's um, a very deep um, artist. You know, couple combining the architecture and visual elements together. When you look at some of the forms, you see how he has been able to distort the normal form into his own way of expression. And the finishing of the works you know, say a lot, and it's the finishing, it's, it's awesome, it's fantastic, creative, dynamic, it's unusual, it's something that um, is not common. So, and that is what is to tell about what that artist stands for, what is his um, way of, you know, expression. Young artists are growing fast and showing that they can hold their own when it comes to artistic creations, and this exhibition proves this. Smooth and sleek bronze work there. I love the movement. You can notice the twists and turns in those images. And these are the works of art you sent in this week. Let's begin with this one called Better Half. It's a mixed media on canvas work done by Ada Arts. Mm -hmm. 
then Olufemi Adedeji is just asking everyone to rock what you got, especially the ladies with this digital print work. While Adetoro Adebayo is showing everyone his real face with this arising piece he calls my real face. Then Belo Tobi has this charcoal on paperwork called Depression. Another charcoal work, but this time charcoal and graphite on paper, is done by Aki Uluwashi. It's called Story the Eye Tells. Then Focus is a work by Rosalind Azaki. It's a mixed media painting. No to COVID-19 is done by Dari Art with oil on canvas. Then the secret of art is love is a pen drawing done by Oya Sam Art. And I just had to put this one in. It's done by a three-year-old. Her dad, Stan Obina, put it up. She calls it Love is Family. And with that, we conclude the works of art you sent in this week. Thank you so much for sending them in. And we do encourage you to keep them coming. Wow, that three-year-old sure has potential. And that's what we like to encourage on the program. Let's catch art young. Encourage these young ones to embrace their creativity. So cute, isn't it? Every artist must have a Mount Everest which he plans to scale. When you see the images created by a multi-talented artist called Shegun Akano, from a distance, it looks shiny, but take a closer look and you will notice screws. Loads of them is what he has used for his works of art in this solo exhibition in Lagos. Winning hearts, one screw at a time is what Shegwa Ko is doing through his latest solo exhibition at the Signature Beyond Gallery in Lagos. Uh, the theme for the exhibition is um, nine gems. The body of work has about nine pieces of work. Eh? What initiated the works, really? It's our background, our stories as Nigerians, our, our, our fathers, our great-grandfathers' stories, their ethics, yeah, their, their, their values, um, the things that sustain them, you know. And all before we all became lawyers, doctors, and all that, 
those are the things our fathers did back then. Those are the things they believed in, you know. We had um, the, the hunters, the uh, onidiris, the, 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 the fishermen and all that. So it's, it's a way of documenting our stories, taking us back to our roots. Kegwako is one of the artists that Signature have been managing over time. Uh, he's a prolific artist. He's unique in his own way of doing his work because um, if you look at the works, you observe that they are not the regular materials people used to, uh, you know, tell people about what they feel concerning the society and what is going on in society. You, if you look at the work very well, you see majorly they are made out of screws that. Uh, people in POP, in building, architect use in their own material. But Shagun, in way of, you know, trying to explore art in another form, try to bring screw into the world of art, which is very, very welcoming in, in the system. Using this unconventional material, this artist has added more color schemes to his traditional themes, which are captured in nine gems. Each of the works takes him about two to three months to accomplish one. And uh, the one thing I like about his style is the unique way, the storyline about the works. Like the one at my far right uh, left here, uh, Taito Paki Oton, is about um, a reputable hero, a hunter from Ogbomosho that was passing through the bushes and he was, you know, in the process of killing animals, hunting animals, he, he, he discovered that no matter how much animal he was able to kill, there is still more animals to come. He was doing this, you know, trying to explore until he finally discovered there are people living in that area. And from that moment, that place was named Pakyoton in Obomosho. And uh, some of the works that I really like is Ojulogi. You know, in Africa, our women are so beautiful. It represents uh, that one titled Ojulogi with golden colored screws with touch of colors that he has uh, included in exploring the work and getting it right to the public, at least to beautify and ensure that African ladies, African women are presented in a beautiful form because Africans are really beautiful. The audience enjoys this body of work inspired by culture, value systems and history which the artist believes we should never neglect, all in the name of civilization, because that shows uniqueness. Growing up, I, <laughs> it's always been, it has a fear. I, I know that when he was young, at that time my dad would help buy all the stuff for him. But that time it was just painting. But by the time he started going into the use of screw, you know, initially I was like, how did he get to how did you get the idea? And then it's not just, no, there are times you do something that just be the flat surface, but this, you have all the curves, like 3D. So I just believe it's inspiration from God. It's, it's a rare gift. So it's really, really a really nice one. And I'm, I've been telling him that I believe that this gift will open doors for him. It's a, it's a very nice one. He explains how this technique has evolved over time with different elements which he has infused to make it more attractive. I call it um, screw hearts. It's um, screw on board. It's a two-dimensional. It's not on the run form. Still, so, but you say enjoy all the forms, you know, all, all those shapes and all that. So it's uh, basically screw on board. Some uh, have um, the background with dyed paper. Some have auto-based background. You know, so um, some have acrylics on them. Some are painted with acrylics, some are just in the natural form, the, the screw, the, the screw. And so, um, basically we work on the, the platform that suits me, boards, um, storm trees from the trunk, you know, yeah. Looking at all the works, you agree with me that there is no of this work that you don't agree it's so powerful in its own way. The energy it puts into the work, the craft, the, 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 the efforts, 
you know, looking at them one after the other, you will see the beauty in them. They are so powerful. They are strong work. They are work that even the buyers themselves, they will know that what signature stands for is good works, arts that you can beat your chest at any day, at any time, that it can, start, it can stand the test of time. Because what we have in this world now concerning art is art that can hang both locally and internationally. And that is where Shegun is now, because he's taking art to another level. The 2008 graduate of analytical chemistry from the Ladoki Akintola University of Technology, Oyo State, has surely left his signature at the Signature Beyond Gallery with this latest collection. This week's episode is really showing artists pushing the limits and we have more on the next edition of the program. Next week on Art House. On the next edition of Art House, it's one of the biggest international art fairs that showcases the latest creations from Africa and beyond in Art X Lagos. At Art 21, Olua Moda is revealing his latest body of work in an exhibition called Carte Blanche. Then we move to Abuja to see Prince Obasi's reflection of an artist in color at Thought Pyramid Art Center. So tune into the program again to enjoy this and more. Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. That's Art House. Thank you so much for making us a part of your day. And we encourage you to visit our YouTube page. We have a large art community and we need to reflect that in our Art House views on YouTube. You'll see a list of the episodes. So view, like, and remember to share it so everyone can enjoy the beauty of the art. I'm Melinda Kinlami, encouraging you to stay safe and keep being creative. <laughs>